Good morning everybody, it's Melissa here from FBC and today I'm going to do a screencast to help you do your Canadian page views reporting and your provincial page view reporting. So in recent months Google has put less of a premium on page views as a metric but brands and agencies are still asking for it. And Google has made it very difficult for you to find the information that you want because they no longer value it. So what you're going to need to do in this instance is create what's called a custom report in your dashboard. And I'm going to show you how to do that today. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to go over to your menu here and click on the customization uh, tab. And once that pops up with a sub menu, you're going to click the custom reports option and that's going to bring up this window here and it will show you a list of all the custom reports you've created probably for most of you you won't have anything there but to create a new custom report you just click on the new custom report button and follow the instructions on the screen which I'm going to get to in a second so I created a Canadian page views drill down report and what drill down means is that not only will you be able to see your Canadian page views but you'll be able to click on the country and drill down to the provincial level and then to the city level. So you'll actually have a lot of information in one quick little report. So I'm going to show you how we set this one up by just editing this. So the first thing you want to do, you want to give your report a title so that it's easy to find in your custom report menu. And the next thing you want to do is add your metric. And in this case, the metric is page views. And it's really easy to add a metric. You just click on this button. And instead of trying to find it under all these different subject headings, just type in page views and it will pop up. Click on that and it will add it to your report. The next thing we're going to do is the dimension drill downs. And the first one we're going to add is country. We're going to add country first because that's our biggest one. So you always want to drill down from biggest to smallest. Again, really easy to add a dimension. Just type in the dimension you're looking for and select it. Then the next one we're going to add is region and region in Canada equals provinces. So add region and then add city and you see how they're all nested here? That shows you that you're going to be able to drill down on them which is going to be super useful for you. The next thing you want to do is you want to add a filter in this section. You want it to be an include filter on country and you want it to be exact and you want the filter to be for Canada. And you can also change this for any other country that you want to view. You can create another report. Once you've added all of that, it's pretty simple. You just click Save, go back up to your custom reports, choose the report that you just created and run it, and you'll have all the numbers that you're looking for. The one thing you want to make sure you do when you run it is that you adjust the date range for whatever is being asked for. So the default now in Google is seven days, but most people are going to be asking you for 30 days. So make sure you change that before you send your numbers in. And now you'll have this report ready to run whenever you need it. And that's all there is to it. Thanks guys, I hope you found this helpful.